What it do is show BZ to S-H-O-B-O-A-T. And now that it's been a few days after the Rick Ross car show, we got to talk about the aftermath of it. And I'm going to answer some questions that I've seen. But first, let's start with what Ross had to say. We got a lot to celebrate. My voice almost back. We got a lot to celebrate. We had the biggest and the most amazing time, the most, man, significant car event in the last few years. We happy to be doing this. We happy to be hosting the realest car builders, the realest car lovers, the car collectors, and people who just want to get out and have a good time. We culturally rich, y'all. We culturally rich. We got to keep feeding ourselves and influencing ourselves, inspiring ourselves. Now, of course, this is a competitive car show, and leading up to the show, who was going to win the best dunk was kind of being teased as one of the big categories. And the front runners were top five or Nava to HNIC and Steve 86 with his olive oil car, right? I had to introduce my boy Steve Olive Oil to the game. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna fuck him up on his first rodeo. Hey, you know, hey, what was it? 24 hours left. We yeah. don't know who the real head is. Yeah, we got 24 hours left. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we got 24 hours left. Yeah, we got, we got, we got 24 hours left. Sure, you know what I mean? For sure. It's going down for sure. Oh man, it's a beautiful moment. This is a huge time, and it's big for the game. Y'all see what's going on. This big for the What's up? You already know, my nigga. I salute both of y'all. Thank, Love, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Karate. Car show. Top five. One day away. What is it? One day away, Rose? We one day away, baby. We one day away. Damn. We one day away. Oh, that's why they line the motherfuckers across here. Yeah. That's a different kind of level. Y'all see what's going on. You see that? You ain't walking on rose petals. You, you walking on leather petals. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. World famous olive oil. The world famous. Now, this could have gone either way because both cars were dope, but ultimately, Steve 86 and his olive oil won the award and the key for best dunk. We got a new member. We got a new, we got a new member. Hey, we got the key holder fraternity. Got olive two of, oil. We got two in Houston now. Hey, that bitch coming back to H Town. I don't know how many we got now. Yeah, for sure. Congrats, my boy. Thank you, my you nigga. You deserve it, my nigga. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Beautiful car, man. And in friendly but competitive way, some people in Nava's crew called BS on him losing the olive oil. Rough, man. We know it's politics behind this shit. You couldn't give a boy two of these keys, boy. They would have been on you. Nava paid him. Nava paid him. Come on, man. That's the quarter million dollar dunk. Fuck that. That's a million dollar dunk, bro. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. We know who it is. Now, like I said, it could have gone either way, and I know Nava probably sees it that way too. And at the end of the day, you got to respect the time, energy, and money these guys are putting into these cars. Just one. We said we would. We weren't playing. We said we were going to win. You see it. We got the little miniature key for my phone. We got the big Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it's, it's the greatest feeling I could ever have, man. It is the, literally the greatest. And this man right here, man, I sent this man unspeakable amounts of money to get that car done. And, man, he he, he took all the worries off my head. Bro. Wait, wait. Seven months. Seven months. Seven months. That's, that's, that's a tribute to all my guys. That's a tribute to all seven my months. guys. You can build a car. Hey, bro, you can build a car. In, in, in less than a year. You just got to pay for it. Stop playing games. All I'm negotiating shit. If I want something and I want it done, it got to get done. Kenny knew the assignment. Kenny, and he, and he didn't deliver, my nigga. That was God damn, bro. That was his assignment. Now, some people have been ballparking how much Rick Ross made from this event. You know, with having 12,000 people show up for it at his own home, the promised land, as the venue. Now, if you want to do the real math, 
Here are some of the numbers that you can plug in. It was $750 for car and bike participants, $250 for general admission, $3,500 for food trucks and vendors, $500 for VIP parking. There was a VIP mixer event that was $2,500 and a VIP vending sponsorship for $25,000. And don't forget the $100,000 package that was a hit Ross directly type of thing. Like you feel me? So as you can imagine, any way you slice it, even with probably two to $3 million in overhead, I mean, Ross had close to a million dollars just wrapped up in the gold and diamond keys alone. But based off of these margins, he still profited millions from this event. Now, if that's not a hustler, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, bro. And it's not about it's not about money. This is about history. This is about networking. This is about encouragement. Now, with any event of this size, there's usually going to be some logistic issues that pop up. And Ross is not immune to that. He's been receiving some backlash and it's been reported that hundreds of people are demanding a refund for their $250 tickets after they never made it to the property for the car show due to unorganized check-ins and long lines. But testimony from people that were actually at the event praised the fact that there was no violence and I wouldn't expect it to be just because the barrier entry was so high. At $250, you keep a lot of the BS from even coming in. And one person that was there said, it was one of the best times I've had and I'll remember forever. Rick Ross was very humble, making everyone laugh. There was also a concert, food trucks, and people to network with from different cities. Definitely worth the $800 I spent. Culturally rich, not just cars, not just fashion, not just music, not just business, networking, and the list goes on. And we talking about at one event one event culturally rich rick ross car show me personally i was impressed that ross was able to make this year's car show bigger and better than the last one because last year's was so dope now this is only the third one that he's done so i can only imagine how the fourth and the fifth and so on will be as you can see this year so many people and places and things that never really had roots you was never really grounded. When we say culturally rich, that's when it's in your history. That's when it's in your heart. So when I say culturally rich, I'm talking about something that we watch go from nothing to something. Year number three, amazing. People are already asking what date is number four. And I covered a nice chunk of this event with my video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about everything and anything from the car show. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Show BZ. I'm out.